Hey, how's it going guys? It is Mythos Boba and something a little bit different today. Metal Legend 2 by Z Productions. Let's get into this. So yes guys, obviously this is mainly a Star Wars channel and I do mainly collect Star Wars, as you can see. But if you've got me on Instagram, you would have also seen that I've dabbled into a few other 1-6 scale figures as well. And it's a funny story with the Metal Gear uh, Solid figure actually because about five months ago I actually discovered the little pocket PlayStation which I did a review on the channel for so if you want to also check that out I'll leave that linked down in the description. When I found that this little console could play PlayStation games I was like wait a minute this can play Metal Gear Solid? I used to play that when I was a kid all the time. So replaying that just lit a fire in me. I was like, oh my God, I forgot about Metal Gear Solid. I was like, I need a 1-6 scale Solid Snake, but I couldn't find anything. You can get these old kind of like cheap figures really bad. So I thought, I'm going to get one of those. So I created like a custom Solid Snake using the cheap kind of Solid Snake um, outfit that you can get. I put him on a new body. I've got like a Batman sculpt on there just to kind of uh, get it out of me. I want to make a Solid Snake, but it's just not good to be fair. That's just sat on the shelf, not doing anything, not really happy with it. And then also diving into Metal Gear Solid all of these years later, it's actually a crazy time to be looking into Metal Gear Solid as well because they have just announced that they're releasing the Master Collection where you can play basically a bunch of the games on whichever system you've got. This is crazy. I've just got into Metal Gear Solid as well and they're just releasing all of these games and even releasing them on Switch. So I was thinking, ooh, should I get a Switch? <laughs> the Metal Gear Solid craze and the bug has got me again. All right, guys, let's get this guy opened up. So here it is from Z Production. And first thing out of the box, I didn't even know it was coming with this. So very happy to have our own little cardboard box. And there we go, the box is looking absolutely beautiful with the same hex style artwork as what's on his suit. A nice little feature on the back there. So yes, beautiful box guys. But let's get this thing opened up. First we have these instructions. I presume they're just warning you to be careful and showing you what the gun can do. And there we go, solid snake looking absolutely awesome. First things first, I want to check out this poncho because I've seen some photos of that and it looked very cool. And actually, this feels way different than what I thought it was going to. It's a strange material. I'm not sure what it is, but it feels nice. But as you can see, it's been a bit creased up from just being boxed. So first things first, I'm going to just... Um, put a little towel over the top of it, give it an iron just to smooth out all of those creases. Next up we've got a little packet of accessories and um, what is that? Oh that is off the Socom pistol isn't it? So I can put that to the side for when I get the pistol out. We've got a little grappling hook kind of thing here. I think that is from, is that from the game when he jumps down? A cigarette, of course, but we put that to the side. Also, get these hands out of the way and let's take a look at some of the weapons. We've got this pistol holster, which you can attach to his leg. We've got this little gun here. I'm not sure which one this is called, but the magazine does come out. That is pretty cool. The only thing with this, though, guys, uh, it's feeling quite brittle i've seen some photos of other people's weapons all snapping so i'm quite wary about this i mean it's a bit wobbly and loose as you can see that has got quite a bit of movement in and this thing kind of slides around which is cool but just have to be very careful here is the classic socom pistol that we all know and love let's just get this front bit on here to complete the look Oh yes, now that that is on, just turn that a bit more straight. That is looking awesome. We've got this rifle here as well. And like I said, guys, these are 3D printed, so not the best weapons in the world. And I only know that because I've seen other people snapped in half and they are just the usual gray resin prints. So please be careful with these. 
All right, so let's get Solid Snake out of his box. Oops, what is this? A package fell down. That fell off as well, not the best start. But let's just get that out of the way and take a look at Snake himself. Now, I am actually quite wary of this because I've heard that these legs have been popping out of people's. So just taking a look at his body, just being careful with it and um, trying to get some movement out of it without popping the limbs out like I've seen happening to other people. The head sculpt, oh yes, that is looking nice. Admittedly, they have done an amazing job on this. I really love that. It's not the most accurate to the game, but I think it's a good depiction of a real life version of Snake. Yeah, so the body is very stiff, guys. That there, oh my gosh. That is hard to maneuver. And that piece in the middle there, that seems like that is going to split over time. Let's you give this one a go. Oh, that is very, very stiff, guys. Please be careful with that because you don't want to pull it too hard and, um, you know, damage the body because the body is basically locked into that suit. I've seen people's legs coming apart from the torso and with the suit being all worn, you're pretty screwed. You can't get in there to fix it. So I'm going to have to be very, very careful with this. Let's just see what the legs are like. They seem really good, actually. The boots looking awesome, nice and accurate. And guys, I think it's time to get him posed up, isn't it? Let's take a better look at him with his accessories. So there he is, Metal Gear Solid 2, Solid Snake. What do you guys think of him? Are you going to be picking him up? My little conclusion in the end is, you know, I would say looks wise, I would give it maybe an eight or a nine out of 10. He looks amazing. But practicality wise, you know, overall figure, I would maybe say a six out of 10. He's basically just going to stand and look good on your shelf. You can't really do much other than that. He's really bad at posing. The body looks good in the suit, but you can't maneuver him around. He's got bad elbow joints where you can't even really pose him good. He struggles to even hold his weapons. The suit looks incredible. Literally the best suit I've ever seen on these Metal Gear Solid figures. Um, like I've seen custom figures of him. They all look nice, but this looks amazing. Amazing. So they've done a brilliant job on there, but when you're trying to maneuver him, the seams 
uh, really trying to pull apart so guys be careful with those if you get him the weapons like I said uh, I've seen you know some horrific pictures of them all being destroyed a little piece on mine snapped but you won't even notice it um, and they are just 3d printed so be very very careful with them they're just resin printed so if you drop them they're going to basically explode and snap so that's not brilliant uh, I think um, I might actually replace the weapons with some that I've found on eBay you know some proper actual plastic weapons they'll be much more sturdy and much more safe to mess around with and get some photos the head sculpt yeah very very cool they've done a great job on that great paint work I have seen some people in the custom community kind of slating it oh mine's better but I do think this one is really good I think it's kind of you know it's it's mainly there with Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid 2 it could maybe just be a little more accurate though but I do really love it the box was a great addition as we know that was a super fun part of the game in Metal Gear Solid 2 at the start he has his raincoat and um, poncho kind of thing that was a nice little accessory to add in there so if you get this figure make sure to give it an iron just like I showed you and that will get all of those creases out well there we go guys let me know what you think down in the comments below this was a random one for the channel because as you know this was a Star Wars channel but hey ho I collect some other things as well thanks for watching guys make sure you stick around and hit that subscribe button thanks guys and i will see you in the next one